Hello and welcome back to the Sapphire Star. This is episode 5 of our full body VTuber series. In this episode, we're going to be learning head rotation from just a 2D angle, so keeping it a little bit more 2D but still moving left, right, up and down. We're going to be doing neck rotation as well as the full body movement, body breathing, as well as arm rotation. Without further ado, let's hop into episode 5. Here we go. The first part we're going to work on is rotating the head left and right. This is quite simple. First, you'll create a folder called head by clicking the new folder button here and typing in head. After that, you'll select angle X through Z by holding click on the top and then shift to drag all three and drag and drop them into the head folder. After that, you can click the head folder to open it with them all in there. Next, we'll want to make sure that all of our face pieces are in the correct spots. So we're going to start creating the different warp deformers for the face. So click on face R in the hierarchy, and then we'll create a warp deformer called face warp. Go ahead and click create. In face warp, we're going to want to be the whole face. So I'm going to hold down control alt while making it bigger. Keep holding down control alt to move it over to make sure it's about the size of the face. And I also want to make sure face warp is in the face R. So I'm just going to go ahead and move these around a bit. There we go. Same for the outline if you have line art. We'll go ahead and move this over to the face warp. We'll move the chin highlight as well. Now for me, I also have cheeks as separate parts. The cheeks because of the painterly style I have. So I'm going to click a warp deformer for cheek left. And we'll do this as a child. And then we'll also go back up and then to do cheek R. So if you have anything else that you need that is different from your model that it belongs to the face, you'll want to create a warp deformer so you can control those. And then we'll move these main pieces in there. So I'm just going to move this over to the cheek R and then I'm going to go down and move this to the cheek L. Great, and let's do the nose next. So everybody's gonna need a nose as well, I hope. Well, actually, maybe your character doesn't have a nose. That's very possible. Let's create a warp deformer as a child and let's type in nose warp. Anything to do with the nose can go in here. So I'll select the nose as well as the shadows and the ridge and all that good stuff. We can Remember, we can click the top and then hold shift to select all of them. And then we'll go down, scroll to the nose warp and drop those guys in there. We're gonna move the temp blush to the face deformer. Next, I'm also gonna move the gems. Something individual I have for my model are these face gems here. So what I'm gonna do is create a warp deformer for the gems as well. So for now, we'll just make it a bigger overarching and we'll break, we can break it down later. We'll go to face R, create a warp, and we'll do gem warp. So once again, if you have any unique features to your character, you can split it up here. Let's select all the gems, drop this down and put them in the gem warp section. Another thing we all want is a left ear warp and a right ear warp. Now, if you have human ears, this will work. If you have wolf ears, this will work. Whatever ears you have, it should work. So we'll do ear L as a child. And we'll go back up to face R and then we'll do ear R, warp, ear R. Trying to be consistent with our naming categories as I sometimes stray afar. Okay, we can move these guys in as well. Ear left, we'll move this into ear right. Next, I'm going to do the bow, which is also attached here. Let's do a warp deformer and call this big bow. Create. I'm going to select all my bow pieces here and move those guys into the bow. And something we'll want to create outside of the face rotation under neck rotation is going to be the neck warp. So make sure you are selected on neck R. Then we'll do neck warp as a child. We'll move this neckline. So anything to do with the neck will get moved up into there. Here's the neck itself. And for the chokers, those are going to be their own separate one too. So we'll go to neck R, create a warp deformer, and I'm going to do choker. So any accessory that you might have on the neck. Do here, choker, warp. I feel like I always spell choker wrong. I have no idea if that's how you spell it. I'm like choker, choker every time, but I think that's right. So then we'll go ahead and select all that has to do with the choker by holding shift key down again on the, on my keyboard. Then we'll drop this into the choker warp. And we'll also do the sapphire necklace while we're at it. So I'll just do sapphire necklace warp. Create that and we'll grab all the pieces to do with the necklace, which is going to be this gem right here and the strap into the necklace. Now I'm going to separate the hair into three different sections. So if we drop open our neck R and then our face R, and we select this. We're going to do a hair front or hair bangs. We'll call it hair bangs warp. So this will just be all the bangs and kind of the hair that's in the front. We'll select all these guys and we'll drop that down, move that into the bangs. Next back to face warp and then we'll do a create warp hair side, hair side warp. 
We'll move this all to the hair side warp. This actually got didn't get put into the face warp, so I'm gonna have to click and drag that down in there. Or I might have to do some rigmarole. We gotta move stuff around to get it to work. And this is gonna go into hair side, like these little sideburns and stuff. So let's do that. These we can move too into the hair side. Hair side, all these are. Hair side, hair side. So we'll scroll back up to face R, create a warp deformer, make sure it's the child and do back hair warp. Create that. Let's select anything to do with the back hair. Pretty much all this stuff here. The constellations. I can select my constellations too because those are going to be in the back with it. And it looks like we got all the main core pieces that we need for now. So next we are going to rotate the face. Mine is in the middle of the eye for some reason. So I'm going to hold down control while I'm moving it. We'll put that on the chin there. And now I can go to our angle Z and drop three points with the green dots. Snap to the right by clicking right mouse button and tilting the head like this. You can tilt it as far as you really feel that like you can stretch your neck. Is usually what I do. And again, that's when a mirror will help. And then something we can do is go to the hamburger menu and and then do reflect motion on the horizontal which is the x-axis so now it should be doing that to the other side that's a great tip to use if you don't want to try to guess the same distance okay so now we got that neck rotation which is great you may want to move the hair to fall with the gravity now my hair is a little whack right now we're gonna have to fix that but what i mean when i'm saying that is we'll want to drop points on the hair side down here we're going to drop three points and it looks like the warp deformer is here i'm gonna have to readjust this by holding control alt and what i'll do is go ahead and pull some of these go to level two on our edit level up here and then we'll pull in some of the hair to kind of be falling a bit with the rest of the head we're gonna have to do this for this hair too which is the back hair so let's go to hair back drop three points and i'm just gonna go ahead and like pull these white pieces and you can make a warp deformer for this if you wanted to as well i'm just using the white pieces as it shifts so that works fine and then we'll get this left piece of hair here somehow got moved with the bow so sometimes you make mistakes and it's fine we'll just move this this is gonna go into the back hair so we'll drag and drop that there and we'll just move this guy over for when the head is clicked that way so that looks good now to so just get this to fall maybe a little bit more naturally and then we can pull this side of the hair too to be out a little bit more because it's going to be that way as her head tilts so this is going to give again just more of that natural look with the gravity so now we have a bit of that head rotation you can still mess with it and again find what works well for you that is the key and next we're going to get the neck rotation itself Let's scroll back up here and go to neck R and we'll be on angle Z for this as well. Drop our three points, snap to the right. We can turn the neck a bit and then snap to left, turn the neck a bit. So now it moves a bit with it, giving it more of that realistic head turn. Next, we're gonna move the face slightly. So we're just gonna do a very simple face movement for this tutorial. We'll go to face warp. I'm gonna make sure everything else is under face warp. So I'm just gonna start dragging my eye left and my eye right under face warp. Cause remember, I'm gonna want all those things to move together. So let's make sure everything is connected to this for the way we're warping our face. We're just making them all children of the face warp. Next, we'll go to face warp and for angle X, that's going to be left and right. So we'll click on it and then we'll drop three points and snap to the right. And for that, we'll hold shift and move the face to the right. Then we can do our hamburger again, hamburger menu again and reflect motion horizontally. So now we should have it about the same way on each side. And now let's pop to angle Y and do up and down. So we'll drop three points. We'll go... For the far right, we will move the head upwards and for the far left, we will move the head downwards. We can link those and now we have just a super 2D movement, which is very different than 3D when you start turning it in space. For the simplicity of this tutorial, we are just going to leave it at a normal turn for now. You can find plenty of other great tutorials out there for starting to get a more 3D look. Next, we're gonna do the body breathing. So we can go down to breath. We're actually gonna create a new folder called body. That was my PC. Let's select by all the body pieces and then breath and drop them in there and open this up. We're gonna go up to body Z warp, create a new warp deformer and call it body X warp. Click create. Make sure this is, we'll move that connected to body Z rotation and we'll move the body X warp down into the neck rotation. We're gonna create two rotation deformers. We're gonna create one that is gonna be shoulder L, R, R, or we'll put rote for rotation. Let's go ahead and hold down our control key and remember it's gonna be her left, which is going to be here. 
And we'll go ahead and just move this little pointer down to follow along with her arm. And let's go back to neck R and create another rotation deformer, which is going to be shoulder R rotation. And we'll go ahead and hold control as well for this one. Move it to the shoulder. Whoops. Hold down shift while we're moving that. And also hold down shift again so it doesn't interfere. And hold down control so it doesn't interfere. And make sure that is a child of the neck R as well. So they should both be here. And we want to make sure body is in front of that. There'll be children of body X warp. It gets confusing. Sometimes things will like move around or you just don't do it right off the bat, but it's fine. We can fix it. And now we're going to split the arms here into three different sections. So we're going to create a warp deformer and do arm upper L for left. And we're going to move this to the left arm, her left. It's going to be here just for the upper arm. And then we'll go back to shoulder L rotation, create a child, which is going to be arm lower L warp. So an upper arm and a lower arm. And that's going to be down here. Okay. Then we'll go back and then we'll create one more, which is going to be hand L warp. And of course we'll move this down. Make it definitely smaller towards the hand. You can close that up. And next we'll do the shoulder R. So we'll do the same thing. We'll do an upper arm, upper, upper R, arm, upper R warp. Create that. Got tossed all the way up here. Make that way smaller. We'll do the upper arm here. And then next we'll go back, create another warp. Arm, lower R warp. Make it a lot smaller again, of course. And then we'll do one more. Create hand R warp. And then we'll move that down to the hand and make it a lot smaller. Great. And now next we want to move these pieces in there. So let's go to the shoulder L. We're going to move this to the shoulder L rotation. We'll do the shoulder R as well to shoulder R rotation. And next we'll do the upper sleeve R. We'll just get all these sorted in their correct sections. Next, we'll want to make sure the shirt is also in the right spot. We'll go to body X warp, create a warp and put pink sweater. This will just kind of be other pieces for the pink sweater. And in the pink sweater, we'll move all these extra little sweater pieces for now. Let's move all those to pink sweater. And now we'll do one for the cream shirt as well. Do body X warp, create warp and type in cream shirt and we'll move all the cream shirt pieces there as well. We'll want one for the skirt as well. So once more, let's go to body X warp, create a warp deformer and type in skirt. And let's move that skirt piece over. We'll place our legs in the body X warp as well. So let's do one for each leg. We'll do, we'll do leg, left warp, and we'll make sure this is down by her left leg, which is going to be this one here. And then we'll go back to body X warp and we'll do leg R warp. And same thing, let's move this down, adjust it to fit her leg. And now I can move those pieces in. So we'll go down to the leg left and do leg L warp and leg R warp. And I'm just gonna move the sock pieces with the appropriate legs as well for now. So we'll just put this in the left leg warp and then we'll move the other sock into the right one. Let's create a warp deformer for the tail as well. So now we'll do one called tail warp, create, move this down for her tail and we'll move all the tail pieces in there. The collarbone and another additional one we'll do is go to face warp and we'll create a new warp deformer and just call this chest collar warp. For kind of the collarbone area, we kind of need to have a place for those guys. So let's move that there. And it seems like we got all the important pieces good to go now. So now for the breath warp, we're gonna drop two points, just two, and we're gonna go to the far right. We're gonna move this up. Try to keep the lower body down. She's kind of moving upward. And then for the left, we'll pull the middle pieces down. We'll pull the top pieces down. So now she has a bit of breathing going on, moving her whole body. You can just do upper body too. I like to do the full body. I think it's a little bit more just animated because you can exaggerate the animation. And there is our breathing. Next, we're actually gonna go to body warp Y and we're gonna make all the body transitions on here. So we're gonna go to body X on the parameters, drop three, and then we'll pull her over to the right here and we'll snap to the right and then we'll begin pulling her over to the right here. Let's kind of pull her main body back center. 
You can have her leaning there a bit. Then we'll go to the left and have her leaning to the left a bit. So now if we test it, you go up to model and open physics settings. We can see when we move her how she has the left and right movement. It looks like there's a piece of hair that got lost. So it depends how you want this. Again, you can do just upper body. I'm doing a full body movement. It looks like we got some constellations lost too. We're gonna have to move and correct some of that stuff. So now we have the left and right. Let's make sure we save our work. And then body Y, we're gonna do up and down. So let's go back up to body warp Y, drop our three points to the far right is gonna be moving upward. Very similar to breathing that we just did. And then body Y, and again, you can make this exaggerated do you want there's really no right or wrong answer whatever is gonna work well for you can do that so now let's test it again see how things are feeling so we have a little bit of fun movement. Next, we're just gonna do a simple movement of the arms going up and down. You can do whatever movement you want for your character with the arms because we're gonna use this later when I teach you a little bit about how to use the animator. So that's what we're gonna be using the purpose of these parameters for and I'll explain some of that information as we move forward. So we're going to create a new folder called arm and then we're gonna create a new parameter called arm up. Make sure we add that to the end of param. We'll put arm up all in one word. Okay, and then we'll create a new parameter called arm down. Again, we want to add this to param. So for arm upper, we're just going to be moving the left arm and the right arm up. First, we'll go to the shoulder L and we'll drop the arm up points. We'll go ahead and move that. Now you'll want to do some editing on the mesh itself. We'll add three points and move points so that it still looks natural if you have any line art that needs to be hidden or moved around as it rotates and as you can see with this little ribbing we're actually going to create a separate warp deformer for it right now i'm going to create a warp deformer and we'll do arm r arm l ribbing create ribbing is just the name of what like that fabric is so we can move that to stretch with the arm now that's the only problem that you might have when depending on the clothes you have for your character and we can also hold this in a bit to make that look a little bit more natural there and then when it goes up it'll stretch and we'll want to do the same thing with the other side so let's go to the arm so I think what we'll do is I'm just gonna leave my arm so we just have this kind of like frilling out because this will be cute we can do like a little animation with that we'll probably do it to like here because that's a little extreme so maybe we'll do like a little like yee, like an excitement type thing so for the arm movement, you can do really whatever pose you might want. So if you wanted the hands on the hips, you can utilize this method. If you want to have the character waving, you would do a similar method as well. But this is a good way to just start learning how to work with the arms. All the same principles will just continue to apply no matter what you're working on. So here's an example now of like, oh, this is what the arms look like moving if we want it. And we can also have those, we could always set those up to have like a little bit of a natural movement too, where it just kept doing it. So that's a cool thing too. So any pieces you can really move or any movement you can imagine, you will just set up with the parameters by following the list of rules I've talked about. Like making sure param has the name in the title with it. And that's how you'll make sure. And that's how VTube Studio and other programs will understand how to read it. Now let's test what we've made into VTube Studio. So we're gonna export the model like we did in last video. And here we are with the test now. We have rotating. Now I can see I'm gonna have to fix my collarbones. You see how my whole like chest is moving. So I'll just go back into Live 2D later and fix that. And we have the body moving again as well, which gives it that extra little movement. Now, one of the big pieces we are missing, and we'll be getting to that a few episodes later when the hair is going to be all swooshy and moving and stuff like that. But this is a lot of the core, just basic, super basic level with getting a model to start moving and you can start evolving it from there. In the next episode, we're just going to talk about a few more tools and helpful information for exporting your model, where it can be exported, and early testing in general. I'll see you next time on the Sapphire Star. Bye! Bye.